Hello. This video will go over your final to damn or not to damn assignment for your final assignment in the living earth. So now it's time to uh, give your opinion on uh, to damn or not to damn. So uh, let's get started on that assignment. So this is a fairly uh, straightforward uh, scenario. You're going to give your opinion on uh, the following scenario. A local electric company wants to build the dam on a powerful river to harness the water for generating electricity. Hydroelectric power is much cleaner than burning fossil fuels and is a renewable source of energy. While the cost of the dam is reasonable, environmental engineers have said that the water flow will be disrupted and flood a nearby salamander breeding ground. These animals are on the state's threatened species list and are under protection. Additionally, the construction of the dam will interfere with the migratory route of a species of fish. So that's the scenario. What you need to do is make a claim. Decide if you want to support building the dam or not support building the dam. And you're going to use the information that you have gathered in the last uh, five weeks of doing this project from assignment 27 on. Cite evidence to support your claim and explain how that evidence um, you gave supports your claim. So I'm looking for in your explanation, your claim, supporting it with evidence from things that you learned before. So go to your haiku, your e-portfolio, look at that evidence that you collected in these previous assignments and then you are going to rehash that into your claim and your support. Write a conclusion. Write your opinion and support it with the evidence from your findings from all the data you collected in assignments 26, sorry, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. You must include one graphic representation of your data. Answer the following questions in your conclusion. So I'm looking for these questions to be answered. What are the costs and benefits of building the dam to your local community? And of course, you're uh, going to talk about the costs and uh, benefits, which they've talked about up here, but you're going to be emphasizing either the cost or the benefit, depending on your opinion, and what would happen to the surrounding areas and ecosystems connected to the river. Again, you're going to be looking at the, the costs and the benefits of this, and you'll be emphasizing one over the other. Make a gra graphic representation of your data. Make or include a graph that shows the data that supports your claim. So what would that look like? Again, you should um, have some information and actually even some um, infographics already done. So here is what a graphic representation of your data might look like. So here are some examples of graphic rep representations of data um, from stuff we've learned from weeks 27 on. So uh, say your argument is that coal cannot be used as an energy source. We have to get rid of it. Uh, so you might have a representation showing that coal burns, or when you burn coal for energy, it makes a lot of carbon dioxide, right? Whereas using methane, conventional gas, uses much less or produces much less carbon dioxide. Um, from that argument, you might uh, talk about how, uh, well, methane uh, has to stop being used also. We do have this Thing that coal is being used less, it used to be used 48%, now it's only 39. Um, so methane is being used more from 22 to 27, but eventually we have to stop using methane also because it is still using or releasing a lot of carbon dioxide. So we need to um, find something else. And our hydroelectric is slowly increasing six to seven, but it needs to increase more so that we will um, be able to take up this methane that is being used. So you could have graphics that show that and explain that. If your argument is on the negative side, uh, you could do a graphic showing native fish populations declining, and we could show how populations are declining due to the dam. Your conclusion needs to be typed, uh, 12 font, New Romans, New Times Roman, and the spacing can be 1x. Then you'll post this um, either on Haiku, your ePortfolio, or you'll send it to me or you'll attach it to your weekly work. Um, if you have any additional questions, please contact your science teacher. Good luck and have a nice day.